two words. Lawrence Shankland. Welcome back to Big Stevie Cool 1872. Now there will be a live stream of some capacity later because there's a lot to discuss, but in terms of this video, we are simply here to discuss Lauren Shankland and the Daily Record which broke an article last night that Rangers could test the strength of Heart of Midlovian's resolve to keep hold of Captain Lauren Shankland this summer. With the Scotland strikers name back on the Ibrox wanted list as manager Phil Clark makes a U-turn after deciding against a January move for the 28-year-old. See, right. I see if that's legit, by the way, right? And he is actually, he actually, Clement was the one that decided against the move for Shankland, which I don't think is true, but if it came out, it was true. Lauren Shankland, uh, sorry, Philip Clement is an idiot. And he, I mean, I could have went more extreme there, right? But what a prick if, if that is true. Because I genuinely think that would have cost us the league. I don't want to take anything away to Celtic because they were pretty impressive when it came to crunch time and our arse collapsed. But honestly, it would have been so much closer with Lauren Shankland and your team. And you've got to factor in the cup as well. Um, it, to me, it's an absolute disgrace that we didn't sign this guy in January. But... I think this is just clickbait. I, I'm not convinced that we are in for Shankland. And I know I don't shop about Shankland. And I know, you know, some people might think that's annoying. But reality is, I think this is because there is so much pressure on Rangers. But so many Rangers fans actually want Lauren Shankland in. And I think this is John Bennett, whatever, the Rangers board, releasing... Sending this wee story out there to try and get people a wee bit excited and take their minds off the depression that's going to fucking come our way. We have got a European squad, right? Deadline, 1st of August. And once that gets hit, I believe we cannot add anyone to our squad until the group stages, which means we need signings in the next week. And if we are going into Champions League qualifiers with serial deaths up front, we are absolutely fucking snookered. It's as simple as that. Scott Wright looks like he'll be starting games. I mean, I could cry it's that bad, but I'm not, I'm not going to cry like a little bitch. I'm not going to cry, all right? But it's not good enough. Like, is our current team, like right now without any signings, good enough to get past Partizan and Dynamo Kiev? Yeah, I think it is. I think they would have to perform near their best to do it but I'm worried about the playoff round you know Lille Fenerbahce there's a million other teams you could get in the playoff round good teams this you know considering how crucial this Rangers this Champions League money is to the future of this club and this season it, we need to sign the players now and before people go yeah but they can't we're on a sale to buy then get the player sold, you know, don't piss about with these Tav bids, don't piss about with these Goldson bids, which we will get to in, a, in the stream, or maybe a later fit on Fog Football, because if the, if the rumours are true about Connor Goldson, man, what are we doing? That's all I'm going to say. Six-digit man, baby. Um, now, according to the Daily Record, and he could press the button on an official bid for the start of the new campaign, but only if he can raise significant sh sh efficient Funds from player sales to balance the book. It's likely the Tank Castle Club will hold out for top dollar, even though the 28-year-old has entered the final 12 months of his current contract. It would be available as a free agent in the new year. That means Clement may have to find as much as three million to tempt them into cashing in on their top goal scorer. But see the problem. I've seen a lot. Of, you know, there's a lot of Rangers fans out there on Twitter saying we don't need Shankland, right? Or why would we sign Shankland when we can get him in three months on a free agent? Right. This person's come under a lot of fucking criticism, by the way. They're on um, Four Lads Had a Dream podcast. Last time I checked, you can't sign a player on a free agent in fucking October. So I don't know where they've got that knowledge from. But, you know, has no one learned anything for last season? See the difference if we signed Lauren Shankland in January? And, the, and it'll be the exact same. See the difference if we wait until January to sign him this season or we wait till next summer? You're putting the club a year back. And, you know, if, you, if, if we sign him on a free next summer, brilliant. But we need him now, at the end of the day. And obviously, James Tavernier and Goldson looks like to be the two that's going to make way to bring in some of that Mueller. But I want to talk about that in a separate video because that could be that could derail our season, the amount of transfer value and money that's getting dished about there. Anyway, Lauren Shankland. I'm not convinced by these rumour guys. Um, that's my brutal, honest opinion. 
Is the door open? Maybe it's slightly ajar, who knows, but we need it. We need it and we need it now.